A celestial is seen at the beginning of the film, and they are also known as sky aliens. Its name was, Arisham, who made sun and then moon. The light started from there and our earth grew. Meanwhile, some strange deviants appear from the deep space. They were also called weird creatures. When they come to the planet, they nourish themselves by consuming humans and animals. A scene 7000 years ago is shown in this movie. Some ancient people are shown catching fish. That strange creature attacks them while appearing from the water. The deviants hunt humans. It moves towards the kid after eating the man. An eternal moves to the earth. Erisham has sent him to the earth. So he will save people from those deviants. Akaris was a powerful eternal. He can end those creatures while emitting laser light from his eyes. He can even fly in the air. Akaris ends a creature meanwhile, many creatures appear there. The Eternals arrive at Earth. They end those strange creatures. The humans were scared of seeing those Eternals there. Then an Eternal controls the human minds named Droog. He has the ability to control humans' minds and can manage them as he wants. Eternals start the initiative to be human friends. Later, they started living with humans on the Earth. Eternals were living with humans and were helping them to improve their technology. They used to fight a lot with each other. Droog often stops them to fight while controlling their mind. The leader of Eternals forbids him from doing this. Because the Celestials leader has sent them to save humans and increase their population. And forbidden them to participate in any other thing except for this. Droog doesn't obey her and Ajax says while hearing Droog now you are free. She says you can go wherever you want to go. You can spend life as you want. They left the city and then the scene of the present is shown. Eternals were living in this world for 7000 years. Still, their age was the same. An eternal Circe is shown who teaches kids in the school. Her friend was controlling the kids because she was late. Meanwhile, Circe arrives and thanks her friend for managing the kids for so long. As Circe's friend leaves there was an earthquake. Meanwhile, a statue was about to fall on Circe's student. Circe changes the statue into the sand with her powers. Circe has the ability to change metal things into the sand. At night, Circe moves to a club with her friend. Another eternal named Sprite is shown and he has the ability to take anyone's getup easily. But whoever touches Sprite's body the light appears from his body. Due to it, Sprite was single for the past 7000 years. Circe was celebrating her friend's birthday in the club. Circe's friend knows something about her. Like Circe is aged and a magician. They were moving while talking meanwhile, a creature appears. And attacks Circe's friend. Meanwhile, Circe makes the feet of the creature frozen through her powers. Circe's friend asks her to tell me what is it. Circe tells him these are the creatures but her friend says they were ended many years ago. How did it survive? The creature runs from there while releasing itself from the sand. Circe and Sprite chase that creature. Circe's friend also tries to jump like Circe. But he couldn't and Circe tried to distract that creature. The creature doesn't distract and attacks Sprite. Akaris arrives and makes the creature injured. They notice the creature has the ability to heal. Only Ajak who is the leader of Eternals has those powers. Akaris again attacks the creature but it flees. It is discovered Akaris married Circe 5000 years ago. Then he left Circe 2000 years ago. Circe says to her friend now I have to go because. Some people need me. Her friend says if you are a superhero then where were you when there were problems on earth. Circe says we are sent on earth just to end the creatures. We were not allowed to do anything else. Except for increasing population and increase the technology of people. They go to meet Ajax so they will tell their leader the creatures have arrived again. This time they are so powerful. They reach Ajax and discover Ajax has died. This happened on the Earth for the first time that an Eternal died. They understand that Ajax is ended by that creature who attacked them before. The creature has taken Ajax's powers while ending her. A powerful stone appears from Ajax's neck. The stone goes inside Circe's body. Ajax has chosen Circe the leader of Eternals after death. Circe can talk to Erisham and they collect the Eternals. So they can end the creatures while getting together and they go to Kingo. Kingo has the ability to take out the small fire bullets from his fingers. Kingo has become a superstar and has done many movies. They ask Kingo to move with them but he says I have to do a lot of work. I have signed a lot of movies. Kingo becomes sad hearing that their leader is dead. Then he gets ready to go as his manager said. 
They go to Australia through Kingo's private plane. Their two other Eternals live there. Reaching there, they find a huge creature died there. Kingo's manager says these creatures were used to be so pretty. Are you insane, according to Kingo? Which angle makes this stench and rotten creature appear attractive? They meet another member named Gilgamesh. He asks them to try his cake. He becomes depressed as they inform him about Ajax's death. The cake also falls from his hand. Later, they move to another member named Thena. She was making drawings while sitting under a tree. Thena gets fits and whenever it happens she attacks anyone. Gilgamesh was living with Thena for the past 7000 years. Thena is capable of attacking while drawing a strong weapon from her hands. Thena was attacking them and Sprite changes the atmosphere there. She tries to make her remember who are they and what is their purpose. Gilgamesh makes Thena understand and she becomes normal. Later, they have dinner. Cersei moves to the place where Thena was making drawings. She sees her drawing and tries to contact her leader. Then her soul reaches her leader. She tells her leader that the creatures have arrived again on the earth. They even have stolen Ajax's powers while ending her. Many weird things are happening on ETH. Erishim their leader tells her this is the mark of an emergence. Cersei asks him what is emergence. He says now this is the time to tell you about your real purpose. Actually, you were sent OT the earth to end the creatures. I have planted a seed on the earth many thousand years ago. The seed needs million years and the energy of humans to grow. But I have made a mistake while making humans and animals. Those strange deviants were born by my mistake. They were decreasing the people's population while eating them. Then I made you an Eternals like you. So I will be able to end those deviants creatures through you. Cersei asks him did Ajak knew this. He tells you and Ajak have often helped Celestial to be born on Earth. Cersei says why don't I remember all this. He says I erase your memories every time that's why you don't remember anything. It also discovers that the dreams of Thena were her old memories. They weren't erased completely. Cersei comes back and tells this to her other team members. Hearing this, they get shocked. Cersei says we have to save humans and stop this emergence to happen. Otherwise, because of it, the humans will be ended. Akaris says, we have to go in search of others. And we will decide what we have to do when we will be together. They go to Amazon forests where Droog lives. They tell Droog everything but he wasn't ready to go with them. Many creatures attack them, and Kingo fires through his ability. Sprite tries to save Kingo's manager. Akaris competes with a creature there. The creature throws Akaris down, and tries to take his powers but Gilgamesh arrives. He punches hard and has the ability to use his hands as a strong hammer. A creature tries to attack Cersei and she changes it into a tray. On the other hand, the creatures attack Thena but Gilgamesh saves her. But the creature's leader transfers Gilgamesh's powers while ending him. As it transfers Gilgamesh's powers it takes the human body shape. It also understands the emergence. Gilgamesh dies and says while leaving do remember me. Cersei and Akaris move to another member Fastos. Fastos says I live with my family and can't go with you. Then he agrees and gets ready to go with them. The Eternals move to rock and their spaceship was inside the Earth for the past 7000 years. As they move inside the spaceship Makari was already there. Makari was their member who can't speak but can run faster than electricity. Fastos makes a technology the Eternals can stop the emergence while using their powers. He says if the creatures can use our powers we can also use our powers together. Fastos was an intelligent engineer. He has helped to increase human technology. The stone locket worn by Cersei starts shining. Cersei realizes that the emergence is about to happen. Fastos asks Makari to go and discover where this emergence will happen. Makari discovers the emergence while moving around the earth that where is it? Akaris breaks the technology machine of Fastos. It is discovered that Akaris has ended Ajak. Ajak also wants to stop this emergence. She also likes humans. That is why Akaris has ended Ajak. When Ajak told Akaris the emergence is about to happen and we have to tell this to Eternals. But Akaris has thrown Ajak in front of those creatures. The creatures have taken Ajak's powers while ending her. Akaris again leaves Ajak to her home when she died. When they ask reason from Akaris he says my life is given by Erisham. I will end you if I will have to. Saying this, Akaris leaves and Sprite was also with him. Kingo was also leaving and said we can't do anything without Icaris's help. 
Kingo also leaves as well. They left and the other Eternals' powers weren't enough to stop the emergence. Fasto says to Cersei your powers can join Erisham with you. He says we can make a uni band due to it, the emergence will stop. He makes a band with Cersei's stone and they reach the place with their spaceship. The place where emergence will start. Akaris and Sprite were seeing emergence to happen. The other Eternals arrived to stop the emergence. A huge celestial was about to appear from the emergence that will be harmful to the world. They connect their band to stop the emergence with their powers. Akaris throws Drug far. Makari screams seeing this. She beats Akaris that he wasn't beaten in the past 7000 years. Cersei says to Fastos I will try to stop this emergence alone. Fasto says okay you try to stop this and we try to stop Akaris. The other Eternals fight with Akaris. The leader of the creatures arrives there and Makari makes a huge circle around it. It holds Makari and tries to take her powers. Meanwhile, Fastos attacks the creature and it throws Makari far. It falls inside a cave of a mountain. Fastos ties Akaris with his technology. Cersei was stopping the emergence but Sprite stabs her with a knife. She says I don't want to save. Humans. I am here on the earth for a 7000 years and I never know what is love. What is a family? Meanwhile, Droop comes and attacks Sprite's head. Athena is shown on the other side and the past was irritating her. The deviant creature was trying to gain her powers as Gilgamesh. Athena awakes and she produces a dangerous weapon with her powers. She divides the creature into pieces. The emergence was started and the hands of Celestial were appearing gradually. Cersei was trying to stop the Celestial with her powers. Akaris was released and moves to end Cersei. Then he remembers the moment spent with Cersei. Akaris also tries to stop the emergence with them. The emergence stops and the Celestial dies before being born. Akaris sees Cersei for the last time and disappears while moving towards the sun. On the other side, Makari was happy to see Drew. And hugs him. Cersei says to Sprite I still have the Celestial powers. I can make you fine if you want. Then you will become a human and will die one day. Sprite says yes, I am ready and they go to dinner at Fastos's home. Sprite took admission to the school. Cersei meets her friend and he says I wanted to tell you that I am not from this earth. A portal opens in the sky and Erisham calls the Eternals including Cersei to him. He says you have murdered a celestial to save humans. For the time being, I am forgiving you and going, when I return, I will inform you of my decision. That what should I have to do with you? This movie concludes here.